or television and more cheap hotels than you can possibly imagine. Now her name is Rosie. Come on, sweetie pie. You're gonna come out and say hello. Come on. Oh, I'm sweetie pie. That's my girl. Right now. Now, Rosie is, uh, as I said, a 21-year-old female American alligator. Now, if this is a male at the same size, the same age, uh, about 2.8 meters, maybe three meters long, and up to about 200 kilos. Now. Every book, every uh, film, every bit of documentary all tell you the same thing. You cannot develop any kind of social relationship with a species like this. Uh, think again. It's the same shape as a crocodile, uh, very, very different temperament. Now the reason, quite simply, is uh, all about what you've evolved to eat. Now if you're a saltwater croc like Elvis, you've got that long broad jaw, your skill is attacking animals up to double your own body weight. Elvis weighs 500 kilos, he can pull a water buffalo in off the edge of the riverbank, no problems at all. If you're a freshwater croc, you've got the long skinny jaw, the little one, uh, you're a highly specialised fish eater. Your jaw isn't structured terribly well for shaking apart a large mammal. Now I'm sure that some of you may have been swimming in the same environment as a freshwater crocodile. Uh, unless you hassle the animal physically, uh, you can get away with that almost every time. Now alligators, different again. That blunt, rounded jaw uh, is specific for crushing. And the thing you want to crush is turtle. Uh, and you're very specific about size too. She wants to eat a turtle about that size. Uh, small enough for her to pick up, kill by biting and swallow whole. The biggest animal in a dam, he wants to eat a turtle about that big, about two and a half kilos. That's it. Uh, if you're bigger than the alligator's head, it doesn't perceive you to be potential food. If that was a salty standing that close, it would have exploded and grabbed me on the leg and be shaking bits of skin off me right now. But an alligator, yeah. you're too big to eat. Now, unless you uh, 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 intimidate the animal, you know, it's going to leave you alone. If you do intimidate it, it can certainly bite you defensively, and that could be a horrific for you, uh, but it doesn't see you as potential food. Now, at this time of the year, we're feeding alligators on the weekend, and people are always astonished. We can walk around in between them. They're all lying on the beach. We can walk in between them. Never, ever do we think we're about to be killed or eaten or grabbed or anything like that. Now, to keep your wits about you so you don't do something stupid, but uh, they fundamentally don't see you as food, they see us as the providers of the food. Now, all the books will say, no, oh, you can't have any social relationship, that's not true, is it, sweetie pie? You're daddy's girl, aren't you? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I'm going to buy you a guinea pig on the way home. <laughs> now, of course, if this animal's in food mode, then uh, all bets are off. Now I can run my hands all over her and there's never any chance she's going to bite me, except if uh, she's mistaken and she thinks there's food around. And I'll show you. Now 